It's your boy Crypto Blood. How you guys doing this morning? Uh, today, um, I've got a little, I don't think it's a cold. I think it's allergies. I was moving my uh, old, my other car out of storage and uh, had some mold in it. And I think that mold kind of messed with me. So kind of going through that right now. So bear with me, people. I don't think it's a cold, though. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk to you guys about, man. See, this is why you should, I, I told you guys to hold or hodl your Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash, since Thursday, is up 75%, people. It has a larger market cap than Ripple now. So, you may ask, you know, why, why are we seeing this rise? Um, most likely, you know, such a big rise as we've seen. It's most likely fundamental and you know I think it's really it's, it's, it's two things so on Wednesday uh, Bitcoin cash had its first first block that was filled all the way up to the 8 megabyte uh, limit so that's pretty exciting that that means that you know <clears throat> there's definitely a use case for a larger limit on the block size uh, so that actually happened and was found uh, by a mining pool called BitClub and it was at the block 479,469 block that that number uh, so pretty pretty uh, you know that's that will be a historic moment in time for sure if, if Bitcoin cash can continue uh preserving its, its life and i think that it will because to be honest with you i've said this before bitcoin cash is actually a better a better use case for everyday transactions for uh in individuals that want to use it as a means of merchant or a medium of exchange for everyday uh products and services you know it's just it just simply is and on top of that it really is Satoshi Nakamoto's uh, vision um, as far as he said in his white paper that you know he believed in the in the in the, in the block increase when necessary uh, so I mean this falls right in line and it's just amazing to see such a divided community uh, in regards to this this situation uh, or this topic however I will say that uh, it you know in the in a decentralized community or environment the best the best coin will win so we'll just let that play out and I'm, I'm hodling mine I should have bought more uh, and I still may you you never know man like life is crazy life is I ironic and the winner you thought was a shoe in and was a guarantee many times isn't just how life is so you know hold, hold your Bitcoin cash if you can or you know I'm not giving you financial advice I'm holding Bitcoin cash and I may end up buying more so um, the other thing another fundamental uh, fundamental element or piece of news that came out this week on Bitcoin cash was uh, Falcon Bank actually said they're going to support it uh, in their suite of services and I did a video about this uh, maybe about two two and a half weeks ago three weeks ago I did a bit a video and an article on steaming about Falcon Bank uh, starting to or will start to allow their customers to uh, purchase Bitcoin and uh, they they will Falcon Bank will of course hold the private keys <laughs> and uh you know allow individuals to transact with those tokens um within their whole platform their 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 uh banking platform they also have a, a an atm in the uh lobby as well and anyway i, I you know i did an article about that stated why i thought that was sign a sign of things to come for the worse uh, as far as Bitcoin being decentralized price wise yeah it's gonna make Bitcoin go way up all the way up right uh, however 
Falcon Bank just announced this week as well that they are going to uh, accept or support Bitcoin Cash. Um, there have been a myriad of uh, wallets this week that also have come out saying that they support it. Um, and and you know the mining support is is increasing and the mining difficulty rate is coming down on Bitcoin Cash. So a lot of things are lining up for Bitcoin Cash that uh, may in a year or two surprise a lot of people. It may surprise a lot of people, and it actually may outperform uh, outperform Bitcoin's performance. I'm not saying it will surpass it in price. It may, it may not. But as far as you know, going from 500 to two, three thousand when Bitcoin uh, Classic is at thirteen thousand, very possible. So there's your there's a actually not even yeah it's a ten x uh, return you could possibly get from uh, holding hodling Bitcoin Cash. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on Bitcoin Cash. Are you guys still hodling it? Um, if so, what are your plans on it? What are your plans for future? Uh, are you gonna buy more? Are you gonna sell? I love to know. Love to know what you guys feel about Bitcoin Cash. Um, and also, I don't know if you guys. And I'll leave a link to this video that I'm getting ready to talk about. But did you guys see the Jeff Barrick uh, latest walk video? Man, my man, what the hell happened, Jeff? You. Man, you left the country and had you some meat and some alcohol. Had you a little henny, see a little hen dog, and uh, you you falling back into the depression, man. Come on. I thought that uh, that video was kind of uh, man. It was a I don't want to say disturbing, but it was discouraging. It was a little upset to see Jeff in that in that mode in that mindset because he had been in such great spirits he you could tell his aura his spirit was was aligned with the universe and uh just to see him go through that um you know i would love to know what you guys feel about that and uh man it's it's just crazy i personally think it was the food you know food plays a big role in your chemical balance um uh, mentally and and just holistically from a body standpoint as well so uh, i'll be interested to know what you guys think about that video and uh let's see someone was trying to call me from telegram um but yeah let me know what you, what you thought about that uh i don't know man what do you guys think he posed a great a great a great question uh, well i don't know if it was really a question he was kind of uh, rhetorically asking this question you know what is the meaning of life um, and I would love to know you got your guy you guys uh, opinion on what is the mean the meaning of life I personally don't have a position on what the meaning of life is because it really doesn't matter what I think um, it, it is what it is so um, you know I think I really don't know. I don't know what the meaning of life is and don't know if I will ever find out, to be honest with you. So I'm just living one day at a time, uh, enjoying the ride, trying to do good to other people and uh, keeping my mind open to new possibilities, new ideas um, and, and just continuing to grow and hopefully plant that seed into the next generation through my my uh, daughter or through you know and through anyone it could be into anyone uh, you know so because really you know my whole thing is even if there was meaning to life if you've been very impactful you've 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 done a lot in in civilization as far as history you've made an impact what does it all mean in three billion years when the sun gobbles us up and uh, the earth doesn't even exist anymore I kind of think of it on a larger time frame which makes me not I don't I don't know if there is a meaning to life but uh, while I'm here and while you guys are here 
you should live it up to the fullest it's your boy crypto blood you know what to do like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber of my channel if you do subscribe click that bell that will ensure you uh, are you're alerted on each and every video that I upload also follow me on Instagram Twitter and steam it and last but not least check us out in the web bot chat room uh, man we're we're over 750 closing in on 800 when we get to 888 I don't know what's gonna happen you know Cliff that's his number 888 so we're gonna be getting there going crazy but check us out when you get a chance and that's it it's your boy crypto blood I'm out holla boo